This is us. Yeah, it is. Dirty Diana is the Throwback Thursday drop. <laughs> dirty Apron is what we're doing in the BT Kitchen, as we love to say. If your apron ain't dirty, you're not having fun in the kitchen. Yeah. Chef David Robertson is here from the Dirty Apron. Get the cookbook. There it's a go. great cookbook. Simple, easy, delicious food. You always bring that to the table. Yeah. Well, well you've got the complexities, David. Okay. You also add little flares that people yeah. can do at home or options yeah. to make it simpler. So let's oh, wait, take so us on a journey. Great. Um, this time of year, people want little snippets or a little snacky food. They don't want the big stuff. We were talking about that earlier. Starts to get hot out. So one of the things I like doing is making just a really refreshing soup. People can make whatever they want. I've done a porcini soup. I've made it quite light. And so what I've done here is very little cream. You can even use uh, soy, which is goes emulsifies really good into the soup really? as well. Like yeah. soy milk? Yeah, okay. yeah. If you have enough of the other body of the mushrooms, it'll give it a nice consistency. So what I do here is I grab little espresso cups, which are cute. They're no, not cute. I'm not gonna call them they cute. They're cute. They're cool. They're, They're adorable, <laughs> chef. And, and we put those there. But this could be any soup people do at home. Right. I want them to have the options. It could be a gazpacho with, if it's summertime. What is this? Is that? And whipped this cream? is a little uh, whipped cream that we put on top, and that is cold, so it slowly melts into the top. A little bit of fresh thyme. And then Look how your pretty. guests just grab those as it. And a little sip sip. And that's it. So whipped cream with no sugar, obviously. No sugar, right. no sugar. Heavy cream, 36%, nothing else will Whip do. Whip it. <laughs> okay. Okay, these are great. These are little tomato brioche that we've made. And so it's a brioche recipe, but I want people to know at home, you could use a crispy baguette, you could use some pita bread. Oh, you, you can could, make it easy. Totally, Cracker. it doesn't have to be this, yeah. or you can. Like these little cute guys. And we can find out how to make those in your... Yeah, absolutely. Kitchen. Tomato brioche with a little sesame. So what okay. I've done, caramelized down some onions, made a mustard. People can use any type of mustard they want. They could use mayonnaise. I've put those on the little base of the bun. And then I've taken some braised beef short ribs. Which is so, fairly easy to do, right? Very, braised means long time, slow and low, right? Long time, covered with the liquid, cooking it down, always keeping the liquid on top of it. You oh. don't want it to dry out. And these are great. Even though braised beef, people think more uh, of a winter type dish, works very well in the summer if served sort of in the right sort of vessel, so to speak. Gotcha. And then we take that. I take a little bit of the watercress. In season now? Yes. Put that, but this could be arugula people are using at home. This could be any type of lettuce they want. And then you put those on. Look at look how at cute. There we go, right? The kids will love these the most. That's what my favorite. My six year old just can't get enough of these little things. It's like a Tom Thumb slider. <laughs> we love this. So a little bit of soup, a little bit of yeah. slider. I'm feeling taco now. And if people want to do a seafood version, a little piece of sliced tuna in there too, and just switch up the varieties of what you have in there. Okay. Always options. Look at this beautiful little appy tray. Next. Now, you, I'm, I'm fascinated by. What's in here? Because I was like, oh, is it wasabi? What is it? So we take avocado, we put avocado in the blender, we take a little rice wine vinegar, a touch of soy, and we puree it with a little bit of oil. And I call it a Japanese guacamole. So very refreshing. There's also a little lemon in there. Very refreshing. These here, we do make these, but also another idea, people could use tortilla, soft tortillas that they can just simply okay. buy and cut out. Uh, these ones have been fried in oil. They don't, if you don't have the little mold, you can simply just fry them in a small fryer yep. and keep them round and flat. That's right. totally fine. Or a baguette, once again. So we're gonna You're such put a good that in there. Come on. There we go, fill up. This is the good stuff. I'll let you do that one oh, as really? well. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I know. I can feel that you want to get in here. Oops, look at this. <laughs> I'm gonna have extra Japanese guacamole on mine. Uh, then I take a little bit of the tuna. And the tuna that I have here is an albacore, but you can use yellowfin as well. And then with that, I've just put a little lemon and olive oil. And then I just take my little leaves. No, these Every little day. standards stands yep. that I have are really great for making it so you're not stuffing everything in the side and falling out. And you can buy these little guys at Gourmet Warehouse, which is and they have all your sort of needs for little kitchen Gourmet canapes. Warehouse, that is on uh, that is, Clark? You got it, and right. Hastings. Clark and Hastings, yeah. great spot to pick up 
exactly. And kids, like you said, you've got a three and six. Yes. I got a seven. Yeah. I could actually get them and get the littles involved in this. That takes a whole new spin on Taco Wednesday. People need to get kids in the kitchen more. Chef? My, my six-year-old does this, little shiso. There we go. Look at that. Okay, what are we tasting? Which one? Uh, Chef. You, you tell me. I let's let's go with uh, let's get messy. Let's go with the tacos. Okay, what do you do think? It. I'm in. Okay, okay Chef David there Robertson again. Get the Dirty Apron Cheers. Cookbook. Uh, you can get these recipes on our website. Thank you as yeah. always for no coming problem. in.